far away back then, you know, 93, 94. Yeah, and you, you were a part of that, you know, as, as you mentioned uh, with the Help the Aged, you know, you were a part of that, but, but, you know, it was so far away. And now it's so back and so long gone. Yeah. So how do you feel when you, when you sing oh. these, you know? Thank you for pointing out. You know, we're all getting you're pretty old, but but um, <laughs> yeah, but it was a thing that kids said at my school, and and um, and we did really believe it, and and it really was. I I remember thinking, well, all sci-fi programs and stuff would take the year 2000 as this time when we really would be living in the future and stuff. And, and I guess I, I just believed it. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, we didn't end up living in the future. And, uh, and now we're living in the past now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind, I, I, th I like, I, I quite like singing that song. That song's kind of one of the most pop, out and out pop songs that Paul Pepper did. Um, but uh, because, again, because it's about a very real subject, it's about a very real person. And there, there really was a girl who I was born in a hospital on the same day as, and, um, and she actually was called Deborah as well. And, <laughs> and I really did fancy her and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, it, just, it, 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 it captures a certain moment in time, so um, it is very high though, it's quite difficult to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, here, Chris Strong. 